Hello everyone, it's Linda and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we'd have a look at JavaScript and the Google Drive API again. In my previous video, we looked at the redirect URI mismatch error and JavaScript. That video had a very simple example of how to connect JavaScript to the Google Drive API. I often see questions where people are having issues with the Google Drive API and downloading files. I thought that would be something interesting to look at today. This issue normally relates back to the web content link or the web view link, which is returned as part of a file object and why sometimes these properties return as null. In this video, I thought we'd look at how to download a binary file from the Google Drive API. There are several different types of files on Google Drive. This method will only work for binary files. To do this, we're going to use the Google Drive API, JavaScript, and the Google JavaScript client library. The file that we will be downloading will be on my Google Drive account. Therefore, it is private user data. The user will need to grant us consent to access their data. Therefore, we will be using OAuth2 in order to request consent to access the file. To get that permission, we will need to use Google's authentication server. To run this code, we will need to register our application on Google Developer Console. Then Google will give us a client ID which we can use to authorize users. As our app is web-based, we will need to create web client credentials on Google Developer Console. I have another video which will show you how to create web credentials. So go ahead and check out that video. Remember to enable the Google Drive API under library as well as to configure your JavaScript origin to the proper URL. Or you may end up getting the redirect URI mismatch error. And come back when you're done. Okay, you're back. You got your client ID. Great. Let's add it to the code. The first thing you will do is add the client ID to your code, which will identify your client to Google on all of your calls. Using Google sign in is a very convenient method for adding a button to the web form, which the user can then click and authorize our application to access their data. Once Google sign in returns authorization, it can then call our method, which will download the file. The first thing we need to do is load the API and the correct version that we're going to be accessing. In this case, the Google Drive API version three. Then we can call the files get method, passing it the file ID of the file we'd like to download. To make this request a little more reasonable, I have added an optional parameter called fields. This is to limit the response coming back just to the ID, the name, and the web content link of the file. The web content link is actually a URL that all binary files return in the file object response. This is just a URL to download the file. It's that simple. So then all we have to do is download it and it should work. Look at that. We've downloaded our file. So what happens now if I change it to a non-binary file? As you can see by the output here, non-binary files don't have a web content link. So this method won't work for downloading non-binary files. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on how to download binary files from the Google Drive API using JavaScript. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. It helps me to know which videos you'd like to see more of. That's all I have for now. And as always, I hope you have a really great day.